I recently received an Ortur Laser Master 3. And I used it to engrave this cutting board. I started opening the box and immediately realized I needed a bigger table. I assembled an old desk to use, which was also too small, so I replaced the top with a door. To add some fireproofing to the table, I glued down a sheet of steel. I also knew that smoke would be an issue, so I purchased a vent hood to use on the machine. This hood is made out of silicone and fiberglass, so it's flame resistant. The vent is attached to some flexible ductwork, to a fan, to some more ductwork, which goes out the window. For the board, I edge glued some scraps of walnut. On a stock photo website, I purchased this graphic of a cow with a butcher's diagram. Luckily, I bought the vector version because they misspelled cheek, and this allowed me to go into Illustrator to fix it. Then I went into Photoshop and inverted the colors, then created a border around it. I'm sure this can all be done in Illustrator, but I'm more familiar with Photoshop. I measured the piece, and then placed it in the machine. Then I imported the graphic into Lightburn and changed the size of the graphic to match the board size. I used the frame function to show the print area and move the board or graphic around as needed. I zipped up the vent hood, turned on the fan, slapped on some shades, and pressed play. It's important to not look at the laser without protective eyewear specifically rated for your machine. And it's also a good idea to put a sign on the door that warns people not to walk in the room because there's lasering in progress. After about 20 minutes with the laser at 100% strength, the engraving was complete. It gets some really nice contrast on walnut wood. It also worked really well on this mahogany, but not as well on red oak. So you have varying degrees of success with different species of wood. I think it turned out great, and this will be a great present for friends or family members that like to cook. It can be used as a cutting board or a wall hanging. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the laser, and I made a number of other designs already. And I'm looking forward to using it to cut through material to make wooden gears and router templates and things of that nature.
One other thing that I tried was using an app called Laser Explorer on my phone. This is an app that was made by Ortur, the laser manufacturer, and it has a bunch of different functions. It has a function called Puzzle, where you can load in an image and it will burn the image and then it will cut a puzzle onto that image with however many pieces you want. It seemed like a pretty cool idea, so I tried it out. First, I put down the laser cutting mat because I knew I would be cutting through it and I didn't want to damage the table. Then I set the app to do five passes, assuming that that would go through the material. The material that I chose to use was this white marker board, which is a white material on top of a particle board. I started by burning the image into it. Once it was done burning the image, it started to laser cut the pieces. I let it do five passes, assuming that that would go all the way through the material, because four passes almost made it all the way through my test material. This is what I ended up with. The five passes did not go all the way through. It's maybe halfway through, and there are some burn marks near all of the lines. I've ordered an air assist that I can use with this laser, which will hook up to the laser module head what this does is the air removes all of the ash and soot that has been burned by the laser, allowing the laser to cut directly on the material rather than having to go through the existing ash and soot. This will allow it to cut all the way through the material and make it so that I don't have these burn marks near my lines. So it didn't turn out that great, but I'm excited about the possibilities. And as soon as I hook it up, I'll make a video and I'll let you guys know. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe. Bye.